much. Um, I prepared some slides, but uh, unbelievably, I couldn't get them off my tablet. Like, no way I tried allowed me to get that file off, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, well, that's, uh, well, I, I've still got it. So if anyone wants to see my, uh, my scribbled drawings on my tablet, then uh, that, that might help you. But I'll see what I can find on the web. Um, so uh, I've just graduated. I'm also fun employed, uh, completing the triple threat there of fun employed people. Um, so. What I did for my, uh, my master's project in my engineering degree was build a human-powered submarine, which I'm going to tell you about for a bit. Um, so this is a, uh, it's a team effort. It wasn't just me. Oh, there's a, there's a beautiful picture of us. There, you got me sort of like hiding in the background there. So what you're seeing there is uh, the, uh, the chassis here, out of box section, this bit here, aluminum box section. We made a, a rather unconventional submarine, to be honest, because uh, what you might sort of ex <laughs> I missed something? Oh, search history was that. Yeah. Oops. So, oh, right, okay. So, moving on. Yeah, what you'd expect a submarine to look like is something like that, yeah? Sort of sleek, slim, pointy. Uh, these guys were at the competition with us this year. They were fucking legendary. They're Canadian. Uh, and that thing was wicked fast. There's actually two guys in that sub. It's really long. It's really cramped. One guy's head is right next to the shaft, so he's sort of like this in the, in the arse end of the nightmare. Anyway, ours did not look like that. Um, I was at Warwick Uni, and uh, that's like literally right in the middle of the country. No sea anywhere nearby. Um, no marine expertise. None of us knew what we were doing, and it was the first year that Warwick had run the project, so we just didn't know what we were doing, essentially. And we were competing with a load of guys that did. Why are there no pictures of us? This sucks. All right, I'll find our Facebook. Um, so anyway, we were, um, we were building this submarine with, uh, with no idea what we were doing. Can we not search on Facebook without logging in? Jesus. There we go. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, that's not even the Facebook page. Okay. So, yeah, we built a submarine. Um, it's pedal powered. There's a, there's a dude in it. It goes underwater. And it's, uh, it's described as a flooded hull. So it's not sealed, it's not pressured. And this is what we made. Uh, you'll notice that it doesn't look anything like the, uh, the nice sleek sort of cigar shaped thing I showed you before. Um, we had this key realization. I'd, I'd like to take some credit for it. I'm pretty sure it was me, I don't remember exactly, but I'm gonna take credit for it. Um, it's not a pressure vessel, so it doesn't need to be round because we've not got to distribute this, uh, this pressure evenly. So what we did, you can see here we've got this sort of trapezoidal cross-section coming down here across the bottom. Uh, that was to uh, like accommodate the pilot's position. He's sort of in that sort of position on his front. Um, so he's got his hands on some controls down here, face here, looking out of all of these nice, big, pretty windows. Um, his bum's up here, and there's some pedals around the back. Um, so yeah, with this trapezoidal cross-section, what it actually allowed us to do is uh, save a lot of time, money, effort, versus the, uh, these guys who have a, a composite layup. So they build a, a massive mold and then fill it with glass fiber and whatnot. Huge hassle. All we did was weld some aluminum box section together and then slap some panels on it. Super easy, really cheap, uh, really modular, extensible. You know, if you need to do anything to it, we were literally just taking a drill to it, putting a new hole in, cable tie through the hole, done. Easy peasy. So uh, our first entry into this competition um, we actually did really well. What you're seeing here is the awards room at um, the Kinetic Base down near Gosport, which is where the, uh, the competition was held. Um, so that's us in the awards room. One of only two subs exhibited in there out of 12 competitors uh, on our first try, so we were pretty happy with that. Uh, we did really well. We came fourth overall out of 12. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> if only. You have to wait for later for that. Uh, yeah, so we came fourth overall out of 12. Um, and the main reason for that was basically we, uh, we were the slowest team out of any that actually finished the race. <laughs> the other ones just didn't finish it. Um, so there were three good subs. They went around the course. They did it quickly. And uh, then there was ours. Went around the course. We literally took about four times as long as anybody else. They were doing it in 90 seconds or so. Uh, we did it in about eight minutes, something mental like that. Uh, so ours was hella slow. It was, it was full of problems. There were multiple design flaws. There should be a nice, um, nice picture on here somewhere. Maybe not. Um, so the course, um, you have a sort of a straight line down this giant swimming pool. Imagine sort of 
uh, like an Olympic swimming pool, but twice the length in every direction. Is that remaining? <laughs> One minute remaining? Wow. Um, so yeah, t sort of twice the size of an Olympic swimming pool in every direction. You go down it, you go around the end, and then you come back through a slalom. Um, and yeah, we did quite well. We ended up with an award for so-called dramatic performance, uh, nicknamed the Oscar. Um, because ours, uh, ours was just so ridiculous compared to all the competition. We got, nick we got nicknamed the Underwater Land Rover. Um, but the thing is, we did well, because we, we stuck to some principles. We said, just make it work, and then make it work better. You've got to get something working first. And having something that actually worked was really key in this. It was ugly. You know, it, it just looked horrible. It, everyone thought it was an absolute joke when we turned up. But we ended up coming forth, and we were pretty happy with that. We didn't know what we were doing, but in the end, we actually did really well. Um, so running low on time. Any questions? Go ahead. With all due respect, uh, if you're not sealed in and you can have yourself, what's the point of having a second? Um, well, that wasn't for us to judge, really. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's, uh, it's a bit of a silly thing. The, literally, the only use I can think for it is drug smuggling. <laughs> I, I was unable to think of any other use for it. And we tried, you know, we were down there on the south coast for a couple of weeks for this competition. Over that whole time, I didn't hear anybody suggest a legitimate use. Um, so yeah, I, um, I, I drew a nice little diagram, but obviously there's a like air tank in there for the diver. We've got um, various sort of like essentially balloons which you can fill with air to control. Uh, um, that's the word. I know what I'm talking about. Thank you. <laughs> uh, right, questions. Oh, well, it's because of the way the scoring was structured. So you have, to, uh, you have to finish the race without scoring any penalties to, for it to be counted. So uh, even though we took eight minutes or so to get around, we did it without any penalties. And none of the others, well, most of them didn't even get around at all. There were all sorts of errors. Like there was one who had uh, biomimetic sort of flapping fins like that, which looked gorgeous, but just didn't work. <laughs> like not even in the slightest. Others had uh, like one, one pilot kept repeatedly having panic attacks in the sub. And nobody realized, and he wasn't admitting. So every time he got in, and then he was just like, no, it's not working, it's not working. But it was actually just, it was a having a panic attack. And they didn't realize this until two days before the end, put a new pilot in. New pilot didn't know what they were doing because they hadn't practiced, so it didn't work. All sorts of errors like that. Um, ours was huge, there was plenty of space. Our pilot was, uh, uh, well, apparently he's really bad at driving games, um, which we, uh, we only found out about halfway through the competition. So perhaps that was why he couldn't really steer very well. But he was at least an experienced diver, so no panic attacks. Um, so yeah, that was why uh, that was why most of them cocked it up so massively. Just you know, many many failure modes, and they were hitting all of them. Anything else? Lovely. Okay. Well, if anyone's got any further questions or wants to see my little uh, scribbling of the submarine, come and talk to me. Uh, my name is Rich, by the way. Thanks to everyone for coming to the Latin Talks.